Hi, my name is Paul Modiano from Logical Developers, and in this video we're going to go over a page customization, specifically how to add custom ASP.NET tags to pages using Cell Editor. Okay, so our sample application here was built on the Southwind database that comes with Iron Speed Designer. If we launch that application, we could see that on the or orders page, if I were to click on the show order, uh, I could see a specific order along with the order detail panel that was generated for it. But let's say instead of order date being simply a date that comes up in the text format, we instead want it to display the date in an ASP.NET calendar control. Well, let's try that out. Back in IronSpeed Designer, I'm looking at that show orders page and you can see that we have our uh, shipped date and our order date. Well, what we can do is uh, substitute a calendar controls so that they will, those dates will be displayed within a calendar. Uh, the way we do that is first we're going to go and you notice that uh, over here in the toolbox uh, you have fields, you have labels, you have panels, third party components, uh, gen components, and then ASP. And under ASP there's uh, AJAX, there's ASP HTML navigation validation, but we're going to go for this example with ASP. And what I'm going to look for is this calendar control over here. So I'm going to take that calendar control and I'm going to drag it underneath order date. And you can see it says calendar ID equals calendar. And I'm just going to change that. So I'm going to rename it to be to say order calendar. And I'm going to take another calendar and I'm going to drop it in the shipped date and I'm going to go over there and change that name to ship calendar. Done. Well it's not enough just to add those calendars. What we also need to do is make sure that the original order dates are uh, invisible. So we're going to go and turn the visibility of order date to false. And we're going to do the same for our shipped date. So now the calendars will be all that you will see uh, in those boxes. Now the last thing we're going to have to do is add a little bit of code to the code behind to make sure that our new calendars uh, get all the value that they need. And before you do anything, you want to hit build and that will make sure that uh, all the new ASP.NET components that you added to your application end up in the ASPX file that is resulting from the build. So I go to the code behind and you can see under show orders.aspx there's show orders.aspx.vb and we go in there and what do we find? We can see that under section one, uh, there's a place to put the code that we want to put, and that's under the load data subroutine. Under load data base, I'm going to put in a couple of lines. I'm going to say uh, order calendar dot visible date. equals the convert to date of uh, order date dot text and that makes that will ensure that uh, that it's going to display the proper month uh, when it comes up and then the only other thing for order date is we have to say order date oh sorry order calendar uh, dot select the date 
equals C date of order date dot text. Finally, we want to do the same thing for the ship date. So I'm just going to copy these two lines that we typed and I'm going to paste them in and I'm just going to change this to ship calendar um, ship and I'm going to do the same thing here to make sure it's taking it from the right place. And that should be it. So let's run our application. Yes, I want to save. Back in our application, I'll click on the show record. And lo and behold, everything is displayed in an ASP.NET calendar control. And the same could be done with any ASP.NET control. I hope that this video has been helpful. For more information, you can go to the forums or the knowledge base at ironspeed.com. Thanks for watching.